After owning the boat for over a year, we finally get to take her out for her first sail. Blue Planet is catch rigged, which means that she has a mainsail, a mizzen, and a jib, technically a Genoa. When we bought the boat, pretty much the entire exterior had been refurbished over the years, except the sails, which were in a pretty derelict condition. They were out in the sun and exposed, were really old, had tons of stains, and after a few good storms, even had a few rips. We knew that we wanted Blue Planet's exterior to match all of the refinishing we did on the interior, which of course meant new sails. So we removed all of the old ones and got brand new main, mizzen, and Genoa sails. Out with the old, in with the new. This was one of the biggest purchases we've made to date on the boat, but we got the sales from a local sail loft in Honolulu and couldn't be happier with the results. This process occurred over a matter of months because in addition to measuring and making the sales, we needed a way to secure them as well. There was no sail covers or stack packs previously on the boat, and we knew that we wanted something to protect the sails in Honolulu's harsh sunny conditions. Our last sail to go on was the Genoa, which was the easiest and most straightforward to install since it's on the roller furler. Technically, this sail is a Genoa and not a jib, because as a head sail, it extends beyond the mast, whereas a jib does not. Okay, today we're having the rigger come back out. He's gonna be putting up the rigging for the lazy jack and stack packs that are gonna protect our sails. So right now the sails have been covered with just a sail cover. Um, makes a lot more difficult to take the sails in and out. You gotta take the whole cover off. Whereas the lazy jacks and stack pack, you basically drop the sail and then just zip it up and it's ready to go for next time. You just unzip it. So this should be a lot easier. And it's definitely better than what we had before, which was nothing. The sails were just exposed. Um, hence why they looked so bad. But now our brand new sails, we want to keep them safe, keep them covered. A local rigger works with the sail loft to help us install all the blocks and rigging for our stack packs and lazy jacks to make sure all of the measurements are perfect and can be secured properly. We absolutely love how the stack pack look. We think they're so sleek. And of course, the weather and waterproofing will help extend the life of our sails. Before we could actually start using the sails, we needed to get comfortable leaving the dock. With all of the renovations we did on the interior of the boat, we're also just seeing how she responds to conditions. I don't know about raising the sails. We're taking this process really slow to just see how Blue Planet handles out on the ocean. So here we are out on the water. We're not gonna haul 
all the sales today, but we finally left the marina. How's it going, Patrick? just came back in from going out. The cabinets were banging around on just some little waves. And we had created this solution here with these pegs to try to keep dishes in place. Unfortunately, they slammed and we lost three dishes, which is kind of a bummer. So we added some latches to our drawers so that they don't just randomly open while we are sailing. Seems to work pretty well. This way our cutting board will stay above the trash can or we can unlock it and close one or the other. And they seem pretty sturdy, so they take quite a bit of force in order to open them. So that seems to work. We also improvised with what we had on hand with padding and foam to make sure no more of our dishes would break. So today should be fun because I got a bunch of new lines to replace some of the running rigging. The lines we have, specifically the jib sheets and the main sheet, as well as the mizzen sheet, seem to be falling apart a lot quicker than our halyards are, so I replaced all of those with brand new rope. Now these are the eco-friendly cruiser ropes from premiumropes.com. They say they use recycled materials to make these and they look really good. When two of my cousins came to town for a few days, we decided it was the perfect opportunity to take Blue Planet out for her first shakedown sale. It was a little nerve wracking to have other people on board, but it was also great to have extra eyes and hands in case we needed them. It is embarrassing how hard turning this wench was, but I know that we're gonna look back and laugh. What well, look, something just fell in the water. I just heard a pop. We quickly found out that it was a boom track stop that had abandoned ship, which meant that our boom was just free to swing and the mainsail needed to be lowered immediately. Patrick quickly secured the boom with what we had on hand, a daisy chain and some carabiners, which was good timing because there was a little bit of seasickness on board, so we headed back in. Overall, it was a really great shakedown cruise and we we're excited to take the boat out again ourselves after making a few repairs, of course. Welcome back. Well done. Yeah, this fender is too big. It is 
absolutely beautiful this morning. This is our first time taking the boat out when it's calm like this. We're in about 100 feet of water and you can clearly see the bottom. The ocean is like a lake today. This is why we bought a boat. Although there wasn't any wind close to the harbor, we knew that if we went just a little bit offshore, there'd be some to play with. So with just a light breeze, we raised our mainsail. We are finally sailing, just the two of us. We've got the main up. That's pretty good for now while we learn. Nice and calm conditions and we're just running downwind. Beautiful day. With conditions how they were, it was pretty peaceful inside the boat too. To catch more wind, we also unfurled our Genoa. Got two sails out today, flying the Genoa and our mainsail. Now we're cruising three knots. <laughs> it's only like, what, eight knots maybe of cruise, so. Doing good. Doing good. We're learning. For only our second day of sailing just the two of us, we feel like we did a pretty good job and can't wait to continue learning. For not much wind, we were going a consistent four knots, which felt really fast. Now that we're officially on the water, we're just a few steps away from launching our boat charter. Join us next time as we move everything on board and do a final boat reveal.